Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its mission, to explore strange new worlds, to discover new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. When Star Trek first appeared on television in 1966, there was no such thing as a personal computer. The viewer could get no closer to Gene Roddenberry's world than his or her imagination. Now, however, computer technology allows anyone who owns a computer to not just watch, but to participate in the adventures and interact with the crew of the Enterprise. Not so long ago, one person, with the aid of one or two programs and a creative flair, could design, develop, and market the next generation of computer games. In this age of faster computers, more complex programming languages, and demands by players for ever more complicated adventures, this is no longer true. The age of multimedia has arrived, and with it, the need for larger budgets, longer development times, and a team of talented individuals in a variety of crafts. Just what does it take to create a game the size and complexity of Interplay's Star Trek judgment rights. Consumers of uh, today's computer products, especially entertainment products, have come to expect a great deal from them. Uh, computer games now have fully rendered graphics, and they have the highest quality possible sound. And also, the gamer is expecting a very plausible storyline. So with all of that in mind, uh, we spared no expense to guarantee that not just the gamer, but the Star Trek fan, who's also a gamer, would have a very satisfying experience from playing this game. When I was trying to find a name for Nichelle Nichols uh, and thought of the Swahili for freedom, which is Uhura, Uhuru, and decided to make, feminize it, make it Uhura, I, I knew I could hear her shriek of joy from across town. Uh, I, I was pleased that in those days when uh, you couldn't get even blacks on television, that I not only had a black but a black woman and a black officer. And that'll show them. After doing all of those episodes, is, is there, are there new things you can do? My God, yes. Uh, the, the basis of our series is the galaxy, and there's quite a few stories out there. I would hope there are bright young people growing up all the time uh, who will bring to it levels and areas that, uh, that were beyond me. And uh, I, I don't feel jealous about that at all. I think that, uh, as I was saying, Hollywood and the motion picture industry is a remarkable thing. And it'll, it'll go on with, uh, without any of us and get better and better and better because that's the, that really is the human condition is to improve and improve.
I can't uh, I can't say I was really surprised. And I thought this is uh, this has been some time in coming, and and certainly his time has come. Uh, it, uh, our 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 stories lend themselves to this kind of uh, imaginative uh, uh, adventure. Um, the the plot lines uh, that can be created in this kind of a process are, are uh, I think, excitingly obvious. Um, I thought, well, here it is. Uh, I've, we've been hearing about uh, all these various means of delivering information, of capturing information on a disc, and, and the quality uh, uh, moving so quickly, the technology moving so quickly. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised we're here doing it. It's, it's, uh, we, we seem to be in exactly the right place at the right time, doing exactly the right thing. I'm, I'm really very pleased with what Interplay's writers and designers have captured. I think that, uh, that the people who are designing these games for Interplay are very much in touch with what really makes these characters and makes Star Trek tick. I think uh, I have had a, a, a very easy time performing the material because I get what they're after because I think they understand how the characters work with each other and what the characters' functions are. They certainly have captured Spock's attitude, his speech, uh, his precision of mind, his sense of humor, which is a very important, big part of the character, his interaction with Kirk, his interaction with, uh, with uh, McCoy. So uh, I would say if I had a chance to speak to all of them, congratulations. I think they've done a great job.